Stephen A. Smith, you did it again. You never, you never cease to amaze me, Stephen A. You know, this goes back several years ago when Marvin Lewis was the coach of the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. You consistently got on national television and called for this man's firing. One of the very few black coaches in the NFL. You consistently went on television knowing that you had a huge platform in which millions of people were watching your show. The show, rather. And you called for a black head coach to get fired over and over and over again. And I knew then, it didn't take a genius to figure it out. Oh, this man ain't right, man. Steven ain't right. Then you watch him on TV, and I, and I understand you got to have a level of confidence, a level of, of, of swag about yourself, you know what I mean? Cockiness, if you will, I get it. You know, you don't just reach those heights without having some level of, of confidence, you know, I've, I've heard Stephen A. make the statement several different times. And I'm not even going to say the statement, but I, I've heard him insinuate, rather. This is my show. You know who drives the ratings here. If I want you here, you'll be here. If I don't, you won't. That's what I took from it. A lot of those cocky statements that he's made. So with that being said... It makes sense that all the people that got laid off from ESPN, nobody from First Take got laid off. And I understand that it's just Stephen A and it's Molly as far as the regulars, but the people that come in, you know what I mean, or frequent the show, they didn't get laid off. Kendrick Perkins didn't get laid off. Because, see, Kendrick Perkins wants to be the next Stephen A. You know? So, I guess that's his uh, his... Yeah, you know I mean, that's his understudy, if you will. Let's talk about Jalen. <laughs> Jalen been there 15 years, or had been there 15 years. You know, it was rumored that Stephen A was, uh, you know, messing with Jalen's wife, ex-wife, Molly. I don't know that to be true. Don't know whatsoever. You know, people start stuff all the time, man. But you clearly see the man flirting uh, with Molly on there. You know, you clearly see him going back and forth. So I could see them possibly, you know, having some sort of uh, relationship outside of the studio. Can't say for sure. I'm just reading body language. You know what I mean? So now, Stephen A, he talks about how that's his show. He drives the ratings. But I've also heard him say that Jalen's my brother. And nothing will come between that. This is my brother right here. Well, if Jalen was your brother and you run the network like you say, you couldn't stop your brother from getting fired? Been there 15 years. You couldn't stop your brother. You said that. This ain't nothing I'm making up. You said Jalen's your brother. But yet, you made sure Molly stuck around. You made sure... uh. Uh, Kendrick Perkins is around. You make sure all the people that come on first take on a regular basis is still around. But where's your brother at? So you couldn't take the man's wife, just my opinion. You tried. But guess what you could take? His job. I'm quite sure since you run the network, that's what you said. I'm quite sure that um, you could have gone in and say, hey, listen, man, you know, Jalen, I feel like he needs to be, he needs to, you know what I mean? Y'all don't need to let go of him. He needs to be around. But you didn't do that, Stephen. A. Then you call yourself trying to get humble when the layoffs were looming, if you will. And you was like, 
I don't even know if my job's safe. They may let me go. But then you follow it up and say, I doubt it. But it's possible. So now you want to eat a little humble pie. Don't make no sense, man. Now you calling for Shannon Sharp to come over there. You publicly called for Shannon Sharp to come to ESPN, knowing that your brother, Jalen Rose, is on his way out the door. Why didn't you public call, uh, publicly call for your brother to keep his job the way you keep calling for Shannon Sharp? See, I believe Shannon Sharp, you know, not to get too far off subject, I believe Shannon Sharp got away from Skip because he understood, hold on, I'm going down the Stephen A, the, the Stephen A route, and that's not the person I want to be. Because Shannon Sharp started doing a whole lot of hating. Always had something to say about the black athlete. Always had something to say about Colin uh, Kaepernick. The man criticized Cam Newton just because Cam decided that he wanted to give the NFL another go. Never said that he had to be a starter. Never, never been in trouble with the law. Never, you never hear his name in the news. You know what I mean? The media, as far as any negativity, the man just came out and said, I want to give the NFL another shot. And guess what? Shannon Sharp has so much to say about that. Never says a word when any of these uh, white quarterbacks, y'all you know I mean, decide they want to come back to the league. So you, you, you Shannon Sharp on the air, but you want to be a uh, uh, Shay Shay off the air. Come on, man. It ain't going to work. So I really believe that he, he took a look at himself and didn't like the direction he was going and said, no, nah, I can't be like Stephen A. Smith. Uh -uh, I'm not going to do it. See, Stephen A. Smith, to me, is a real definition of a sellout. He's going to do whatever it takes to get to the top, whatever it takes to tap dance for Mr. Charlie. So when he calls out, you know, uh, black coaches to be fired, guess what he's saying to Mr. Charlie? See? It doesn't matter if they black or white. I'm going to just do my job. So if I got to call out a black man to be fired, knowing that black people barely even get opportunities to get a head coaching gig anywhere, let alone the NFL. But if I have to call this man out because he's not having the best of seasons just to impress uh, you, Mr. Charlie. Yes, sir. No, sir, Mr. Charlie. If I got to do it to impress you and show you that, you know, I'm, I'm really in the house or to stay in the house, rather, then that's what I'm going to do. Knew it then and know it now. Stephen A. Smith is not going to stop. man. He's going to do whatever it takes. And you get on his bad side, you will be gone. Max Kellerman. You know, I used to tune in to watch the show. I ain't watched the show really since Max left. He didn't like Max because I believe Max was more popular than him. You know, the hip hop world fooled with Max. They ain't fooled with Stephen A. Smith. And when I believe he really had a problem with Max was when T.O. was on the show and he said, hey, Stephen A., Max is more black than, blacker than you. <laughs> Stephen A. didn't like it at all. But it's the truth, man. It was the truth. Stephen A. did not like that comment at all. And he didn't like Max Kellerman. Got him gone. Wanted Jalen's wife, ex-wife. Got him gone. All the other people that he's got gone that we don't know of. So y'all beware, man, working around Stephen A. Smith, man. This is all opinionated. Don't know the man, never met the man. This is all opinionated. Be careful. Be mindful. Be weary. Because you could be the next to be gone. Real Kins TV, man. Hopefully you like the video. Feel free to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, share that post notification. So anytime I drop anything, be the first to get it. You have access to it, man. Small channel, we're just trying to grow, but we're going to do it the right way. We're not going to do no clickbaiting. We're not going to get on here and, and, and spread anything false or get on here and, and tell these crazy stories that people make up. Nah, man, we're going to do it the right way. Turtle don't always lose the race, man. Till next time. Quit hating, Stephen A.